Hi everyone, welcome back to A Spiritual Sunday. If you don't know me, I am, of course, Alicia Ying, your success coach and psychic at yestotheying.com, where success always starts by saying yes to you. I thought since this was the last Sunday of 2019, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, 2020 is gonna be here in just a couple of days, I thought I would actually do a video instead of just writing about some spiritual guidance that will come through. So what I am going to do today is I am going to pull, because this worked really well last time, um, but I am going to pull a card from three different decks for some clear and loving guidance guidance to help you move into this brand new decade so that you can slay your way through the next decade with ease and joy and fun. That has personally been my shift that I have been trying to make moving forward. And, you know, if you haven't been feeling it, or if you have been feeling it, this solar eclipse that happened on Christmas was especially intense and it kind of made it not really feel like Christmas, if that makes any sense. So if you are on the same or spiritual journey as I am, then you will know that there has been something inside of you that has been saying, hey, there are certain things that I've been trying to do with my life that are just not working and they are not making me happy and they are not making me feel like I am living the life that I really want to live. So that solar eclipse was basically like a wake up call to be like, hey, knock, knock, ding dong, hello, bright light. This is not serving you. This is not aligned to your life. This duty, this obligation, this feeling of, oh my gosh, I have to do this because I'm supposed to do this. All of that is not aligned with your path. What's really exciting is that we get to choose a new story. We get to choose a new path. And I've been saying this for months now, but this specific new year going into this new decade of 2020 is especially crucial and important, especially if you're just spiritually awakening, especially if you're just realizing that there's more to life than just getting a job, getting the money and you know getting the house and like whatever if you've been yearning for something more if you've been having that voice in your head in your gut that's like I was meant to do something bigger something better something more impactful and powerful that changes the world for good and you're like maybe you don't even know what it is but you're just like I know I was meant to do something more than what I am doing right now then Continue to watch on for this video because I am going to pull some cards so I can channel the guides on what you need to do in order to move forward and do those bigger things. Because if you are even watching this video, it's most likely because you were born with a destiny to do great things in this world and change it for the better. It's scary. It's daunting. Sometimes we you know, kind of like occlude or like dumb down our actual powers and superpowers because we have been told by people in our past that they're stupid or that they aren't supposed to be taken seriously or that it's just child's play or that it's just not good enough, right? Like it was just something to get you through a certain specific, you know, trauma in your life. And now that that's over, you need to wake the fuck up, you know, be an adult, do adulting things and be responsible to duty and obligation and whatever the fuck else. And all of that is just an old story that we just do not need to live anymore. We don't need to continue to repeat it. We don't need to bring it into 2020. We don't need to have that rule our life and our life choices from here on out, which is actually really liberating. It's scary as fuck. It's super uncomfortable. It's been like, it's super, it's been super draining. I don't know if it's been really draining for you. It's been really draining for me, but what's great is that it's really eye opening to show you, Hey, this is really not working for me because in all honesty, and if you have been following me for a while, and if you are part of my family and my tribe and my close besties, you know that 
Life is not supposed to be miserable. Life is not supposed to be a fucking struggle. Life is not supposed to be oppressing you. Life is supposed to be fun. Life is supposed to be happily ever after, however that looks like for you, right? Um, life is supposed to be filled with ease. Life is honestly whatever you choose to make of it. And it is my personal mission to remind you that you have the power in your hands to reclaim the power where you've given it out or where people have taken it away from you. You can take that power back and you can march forward in 2020 telling a new story, living a new life, and walking a path that is actually your destiny. Destiny is calling you right now, and that is the theme of this video. Okay, so that was kind of like a channel download. Didn't expect that to happen, but hey, you never know what happens when you happen to be super connected and have some superpowers with the universe. All right, um, let me take a quick sip of my coffee. Um, okay, so now that I have my coffee, um, one of the things I wanted to show you before I we meditate and then I'll pull cards is... Um, so I got this planner for Christmas, which I'm super excited about, um, because I believe that this is the theme of 2020. A girl should be two things, who and what she wants. Thank you, Coco Chanel. So I specifically chose this one, um, because... I love that quote and it's just a good reminder moving forward that you get to be who and what you want to motherfucking be. Uh, and I'm going to be having a slay your way through the next decade uh, workshop and uh, course coming up right in January. So I'm very excited and I'll tell you about that after I pull cards. But this is the theme. You get to be who and what you want. Oh my gosh. And it's got like astrology. It's so cute. So I, it's, it's like the universe loves you. That's the other message that's coming through right now. The universe loves you. The universe wants you to be happy. The universe doesn't want to see you suffer anymore. And the universe is willing to do a ton of heavy lifting on its part to be able to get you everything that you want and more. Let's pull some cards. Okay. So um, before, if you haven't done this before with me, what I like to do is I like to, uh, just get quiet, meditate and open up my channel and surround ourselves in a bubble of pink and white light. That's just personally what works well for me. But what it does is it just shields me and whoever else is meditating with me in this big protective bubble of white and pink light so that only the energy of love can come through anything below that, anything negative, anything shitty, anything toxic. It's just going to bounce off the bubble. So you're just protected. And if you do this meditation with me, then you can stay in the bubble all day long until you want to let it go. So hooray for shielding. Okay. All right. Let's just sit back, take a deep breath in and release. Take a deep breath in and release. Take one more deep breath in. Hold at the top and exhale. I now surround us in a bubble of pink and white light this is a protective bubble so that nothing can come in except for anything that is love and above. Anything lower vibrational will just simply bounce off and get transmuted into love and light. Anything that comes up within us during this little card reading and little soiree with our guides Anything that's negative or scary or fear or anxiety that comes up within us will simply be transmuted into love and light. This bubble is to protect us, to nurture us, and to remind us that we are always safe, that we are always loved, and that we are always protected and divinely directed. 
I now call upon the universe, angels, guardians, spirit guides, and any ancestors that come through to deliver me clear and loving guidance. Please use me as a clear channel so that anyone who is watching this video, anyone who needs to hear these messages, they will be able to receive them easily and effortlessly and know that these are the signs that they need in order to move forward fearlessly. Please help me channel clear and loving guidance so that everyone can move forward in 2020 with a new slate to start living their new story where they are aligned with their destiny, their purpose, and walking their true path. We thank you for your guidance in advance and we are so grateful for your continued support. We know that we can call on you anytime and we thank you for being with us today. Amen. Okay, well that felt better. Isn't it always nice? Oh my gosh, and like my eyes started like tearing up for some reason. Okay, that's good. All right, now that I'm connected, I wanted to pull from three different decks. So I am going to be pulling from my Magical Mermaid deck. This was actually the first deck that I, that I got. And what I love about this deck is that it's specifically designed to help you manifest your goals, life purpose, and divinely inspired dreams. So I just personally really like that just for the practicality of turning whatever guidance comes forward into actions that you can actually take in order to make this shit happen in the physical realm. I'm also going to pull from Colette Baron's Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle deck. I love this deck uh, so much. So good. Whatever spirit that she channeled is super powerful and we're super connected. So I love that one. And then I'm also going to pull from the Intuitive Beauty Angel deck by Kristen Marie Rodriguez. Uh, she, I don't know, I even know how I found her on Instagram, but I am just super obsessed with these beauty cards. I have been for a while and then, um, I happened, I ended up buying them on, um, on Black Friday and I'm so obsessed. Um, I just immediately bonded with these cards. These are exactly the energy that I want to work with and I'm definitely going to be working with them through the next year um definitely through definitely through the next year if not the next decade um but this is what I'm really all about and so I'm going to pull a card from here as well um they are just so beautiful look how beautiful they are okay all things love so many exciting things for next year okay so what I'm going to do is I am just going to ask the universe, what guidance do they have for us in order to move forward fearlessly in 2020 and get everything that we want with ease? So what do we need to know in order to make the most out of 2020? That sounds good, right? Okay. So. This is a general reading for anyone watching. And then if you would like a specific reading for a specific question that you have, uh, email me or click on the links below. And I am happy to give you a personal tarot card reading. I have a special where I'm actually doing email tarot card readings too. So if the live, if the video one-on-ones are, um, are not within your budget, you can easily get an emailed one to you so that you can still get the guidance that you need. Okay. Um, which deck should I do first? Well, I pulled the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, so let's do that. Yeah. Okay, so what do we need to know What in order to make the most out of 2020? So what do we need to do right now? All right, that card. Nope. Pull them first 
and then go through them one by one. So those are those two cards. Now let's go into the Intuitive Beauty deck. Oh, I love these cards so much. They are like my favorite. Well, no, my mermaids and my fairies, which I haven't worked with my fairies in a while, but I really am loving these angels. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, intuitive beauty deck. All right, what do we need to know in order to make the most out of 2020? All right, those two cards. And then my magical mermaids and dolphins. Let's, let's, uh. all right. One, and I'm just feeling two from each deck, so let's just see. Perfect, two. All right, now that that is all done, let us now see what the guidance is. All right, starting with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, the first card that we got was, so funny, see this, this energy, not for you reversed. Dang, okay, so uh, number six. I will tell you what this says. Um, all right. So also I like to read what is in the guidebooks and then anything channeled that comes through, I'm just going to say, um, and that's kind of how I like to do things. Um, so, okay, here it is. So not for you reversed. That's number six. Um, this is a protection message whenever the card is reversed in this deck. So this says, don't chase after what flees from you. Don't obsess over what eludes you. Don't bang your head against the wall. There is nothing romantic about what is unavailable, no prize given for torturing yourself, and nothing to be gained by refusing to see the red flags that have been waving since you began your pursuit. Now is the time to walk away. There are other goals, other loves, other games, and other successes waiting for you. The way out of obsessing is radical acceptance and surrender. Radical acceptance and surrender. Spirit wants only the best for you. This is a sign that you have something much better waiting for you. Trust. Spirit wants only what is best for you. This is a sign that you have something much better waiting for you. Trust. This is really powerful because I don't know about you, but for me, this is about like thinking... It's basically like the universe keeps on trying to give us signals, right? And we'll give us as many signs as we need, but it's like, hey, this isn't for you. This isn't a line for you. This isn't a line for you. This isn't like helpful for you. This isn't helpful for you. Like this is making you feel bad. This is making you not feel good. And sometimes because we have egos, because we have past programming, because we have limiting beliefs, because we are just like caught in patterns of fear that, you know, fear of change, fear of getting what we want, fear of bad things happening to us, we tend to stay in our comfort zone because we already know, even if it's shitty, that, oh, but we know how to deal with the shittiness, so it's safe, but it's really not. That's a mirage, right? And so this card, not for you, is just basically signifying to you that you need to listen to the signs. If it feels bad, then stop doing it. Stop hanging out with the person. Stop pursuing that vocation. Stop, you know, watching that Instagram account. Stop, you know, stop doing things out of obligation or because you feel like, well, that's what I, that's what everyone's been doing. So that's what I need to do because I know that that's a way for proven success. It's like, there is a, 
like a vision in your head about how you can get from here to where you want to go to your happily ever after, whatever that is, right? The hundred million dollar empire, the man, the money, the million dollars, right? And for some reason, you're like, no, I know that this is the thing. I know that this is the way to get it. And the universe is trying to tell you if it's not coming to you easily, then it's not the way that it needs that. Then there is a better way. It's trying to tell you there is a better way, an easier way, a happier way, a funner way to get what you want. The man, the money, the million dollar empire, whatever the hell that you want. Right? So if that is the case, then stop trying to make shit work that obviously doesn't work. Does that make sense? Hashtag I should take my own advice. Okay. If that makes sense, um, easy action step, start making a list of things that you're wanting, like you're chasing after, but they are just not coming to you in the way that you want. Um, so think shit that stresses you out, shit that makes you feel bad, start writing a list of that stuff. And, uh, then once you have that list, burn it, make a decision, stop doing it. And then ask God universe, your angels for a better way to get those things it might be in a different form and that's okay. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Second card is, oh, yay. Okay, the second card is Loyal Heart. I love this card. I love this card. I love this card. Okay. Yay. Okay, so the essence of this card means fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Hooray. Others will prove they are faithful to you and you in turn will commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the outcome, the outer circumstances to your, in your life, trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed, which is honestly my personal new mantra for 2020. I can talk about that later. Um, but I am a big, huge, uh, I'm just a big, huge believer that, you know, for me, one of the big shifts was realizing like, Hey, I don't have to figure it out all my, all on my own, especially now that I have these superpowers of being able to channel the divine, whatever the fuck, anyway, channel all these like spirits and shit that, I don't have to do it by myself and they are there to help me. And if I just like chill the fuck out <laughs> and trust them, I'm always divinely direct. I'm always protected and divinely directed because I will tell you if I was not divinely protected, I would be in a mess. I would be, I would not be alive. Let's just put it that way. I've made some really stupid decisions in my life and luckily for some reason they protected me and I am still here today and I'm very, very grateful. Okay. Okay. Um, so that might be a mantra. This is like an action step that you can take, but that might be a mantra that you want to adopt also for yourself and you believe where you say, I am always protected and divinely directed. And it always just makes me feel good. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel grounded. It makes me feel nurtured. It makes me feel loved. And those are the things that I want to feel all the time moving forward. And if that's the way that you want to feel, then just being able to know that you have guardian angels around you 24 seven, always watching your back, whether you see them or not. If you need help channeling them, of course you can, you know, go to a psychic slash medium like myself, or you can learn how to tune into your own psychic abilities and intuition in order to get that guidance. Right. But they are there for you, even if you think they're not. So even if shit is happening right now, we're like, why, why is everything that I want fleeing from me? The universe is telling you, hey, I'm here. I've got you, right? I've got, I've got your back and I'm loyal to you. And I'm telling you that I'm rearranging things so that you will have the actual stuff that you want and it's going to stay. It's going to be loyal to you, right? It's going to be there for you for the long haul. Yes. All right. Um, so now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. 
Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form and reality. Yay. Success is finally taking shape. Yay. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans while remaining flexible, and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. OMFG. This is a time for joyful celebration of spirit, your manifesting partner. So again, this is about that co-creation, right? You have to stay loyal to that dream. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it can't happen. What the universe wants you to know is that if you stay loyal and committed to what you truly desire, to your true destiny and path and what truly makes you happy, not what someone else will make you think, what someone else thinks will make you happy, but what you believe will make you happy. Even if someone else thinks it's stupid, even if someone else is like, no, you know what? I honestly really think that you should give up on that thing. But if you know in your heart, this feels right. This feels good. Whenever I think of and envision and dream about having that thing, whether it's that house, that man, that, that, that money, that millions of dollars, that, that vocation, if I just knew that I could have my own business or whatever the fuck it is, Man, I don't, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. It doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what your best friend says, what your parents say. If it feels, it just feels right. That's what you go towards. That's what you hold on to. That's what you, that's what you, you ask for divine help in achieving. Now, it's really funny because you're like, but what if it's not for me? And the thing is, is this, again, remember what it's saying Stay faithful to your plans while remaining flexible, which means you can get what you want. It just may not come in the form that you may think it is, right? So for example, if like, okay, I'll do this as an example. Um, in my personal business, right, I started reselling clothes on Poshmark um, and other platforms, but on Poshmark and eBay, etc. And I was like, oh my God, this could be a really great way to, um, a really great way to supplement my income. And I could actually make it a full-time income because there are definitely girls slaying it and making, you know, six figures a year just on Poshmark. And you're like, oh my God, how are they doing that? I want to do the same thing. And then I could do other things. But it's funny because looking at the trajectory of it, um, it's great and it's amazing and I'm making a lot of money doing it, but it's like capping at a certain point. And I realized that what the universe is trying to tell me is that because what was happening was I was starting to spend so much time on Poshmark and like building my Poshmark business that I was neglecting my spiritual coach, like my success coaching and my psychic, you know, and my psychic readings and doing and, and my, and my yes of being business. And like, you know, and so it was funny because even though ultimately, right, it's for financial freedom, but my guides were telling me that it's not the main source of my income. It's not for me. That's not to say that I can't do it. That's not to say that I shouldn't be doing it anymore. That's not to say that it can't bring me extra income, right? So it is an integral part of my business and what I like to do, but what it is doing is it's guiding me to saying, hey, but my ultimate dream of my $100 million empire, it's not reselling on Poshmark. That's not the main thing. My my main vision for my $100 million empire is being a success coach and a psychic and helping people live that spiritually aligned lifestyle of yes to the yang, where success always starts by saying yes to you, where you get to tap in to your, you have spiritual magical superpowers like Harry Potter and all of the Marvel superheroes. And it is my mission to help you rediscover that beauty and power and magic of who you really are, right? So that's pretty fucking awesome, I think. And that lights me up. But that, when you think about that dream and you think about just reselling clothes, it's a bit of a disconnect, right? It's not 100% aligned. Does that make sense? So it could be a part of that, right? Because of course, I also do believe that what you wear, like my Little Mermaid crop, you know, sweatshirt, 
I do believe that what you wear is a direct reflection of how you see yourself, how you view yourself. So there is something to be said about putting, of selling amazing items that's going to make someone feel like a god or a goddess, like a king or a queen, right? Like their best self. So it's one way I can help you. But ultimately, my magic mojo is being able to channel clear and loving guidance from above for you right? Like that shit is like fucking incredible. And then being able to give you the practical action steps to put that guidance into place so that it makes logical fucking sense in this physical world that we live in, right? Does that make sense? So for me, like what I'm trying to explain is that even though it seems like, okay, maybe that's not from you. Like if I'm trying to make Poshmark a full-time thing and for some reason it's just like not getting there, it's because I need to be flexible with my plans, stay loyal to my $100 million empire dream and go, hey, oh yeah, that's right. I want to help people discover the magic and beauty of who they really are and give them spiritual guidance and teach them how to harness their own spiritual power. So um, yeah, Poshmark is awesome, but why not focus on really helping people tap into their intuition, help them become a manifesting, you know, queen, king, and help them get everything that they want in life. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's where you have to then go back. And that's what the last couple of days of 2019 are perfect for is really taking an inventory and being like, okay, what was the big vision? What was it that you really wanted to do? What was that big dream? And do the things that you think are not for you, do they actually align? Or are they just more so like right on top, right like right underneath supporting that dream? Or are they like a little bit off to the side? So like my Poshmark would be here, but like my success coaching and, and, and psychic offerings and like my Master of the Art of Manifesting course would be right underneath there. That aligns. Does that make sense? Okay, let me know if that makes sense or not. Okay. Moving on, moving on. So moving on to the intuitive beauty deck. So obsessed with these cards. Okay. Ooh, okay. So the first card um, from the intuitive beauty deck is, oh my God. Okay. The first card is the angel of good luck. What the fuck? Okay. So I'm super happy about this card because first of all, aren't these cards beautiful? And second of all, who doesn't want some liquid luck? Um, hashtag who else loves Harry Potter. And this is such a good omen moving forward. Okay. Card 31, Angels of Good Luck. Lady Luck is on your side. Yay. You're going to start feeling luckier than ever before. Praise Jesus. She's helping you move back into your flow, back into alignment with your good luck by realigning to the energy of your flow and your emotion of joy. Isn't that not what I've been saying since the beginning of this video before I even pulled cards? This lucky energy has always been inside of you. This lucky energy has always been inside of you. Yes, reclaim your motherfucking joy. She's helping you tap into that energy and remember that you're lucky. Can I just tell you on a side note, I have a mantra band bracelet that says lucky and I love being lucky. People have like a thing about luck. They're like, I bust my ass. That's how I want to get there. And I'm like, but I don't like busting my ass. I like working hard. I do get, um, I do feel fulfilled for working hard, but it's by choice. I don't want to be in a struggle. I do like being lucky and being like, oh my God, I just found the perfect thing that I was like looking for. That's fun to me. I like being lucky. Um, so if you want to have some liquid luck, again, think about when Harry Potter drank that liquid luck and he was like, I feel like I need to go to Hagrid's right now. And I don't know why I just really want to go because there's something there. And then he goes and then something wonderful happens, right? That's what you align with. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be cool? Here's the question to journal. And I haven't even finished reading this. Here's the practical action step for angels of good luck. In order to tap into your good luck and feeling luckier than ever before, Journal, if you drank a whole bottle of liquid luck right now or like in the morning, what do you think you would do? If you knew that luck was on your side, if you were going purely based off of impulse and what liquid luck was telling you to do, what would you do? 
Follow that for just one day and tell me what magical things occur. Just saying. Okay. Uh, you're going to have great opportunities attracting to you. New fun, new fun and rewarding opportunities. Call on her when you want to shift into the good energy of good luck. She's blessing you and your family now. She's moving you out of any lack mentality and filling your cup back up with blessings of Okay, I am back. Uh, <laughs> my uh, one of my notifications stopped. Okay, anyway, um, but she's moving you out of any lack mentality and filling your cup back up with blessings upon blessings. You can also call on her when you want to add good luck to a certain situation or to have a good outcome and result in the best luck for you. So. Um, and also if you end up buying her deck, which I honestly really love, it's so worth it. Um, she also gives you a prayer affirmation to really call in those angels. So, um, it's something that is really beneficial. Um, and I love it. So, um, the prayer affirmation for the angels of luck is, and you can say this with me right now, I call on the angels of good luck from the highest vibration of light. Please help me with realigning back to my energy of good luck. Help me to move into alignment with energy of good luck. I intend to amplify, increase, and surround more good luck with my goals for 2020. Thank you for blessing me with good luck and allowing the luckiest outcome to attract me now. Good luck is with me. Thank you. So it is. Amen. All right. So huge all right so again if you stay see this is how it's crazy if you get if you follow don't if you stop chasing what flees you stay faithful to your dreams while being flexible with your plans the angels of luck will help you realign with that energy so that you can get what you want okay next card is ah uh, see okay it's the angels of intuition. I love how pretty are these cards. Do you see why I love them so much? Okay. Angels of intuition. The angels of intuition are stepping forward to help increase and amplify your intuition. What was I just talking about? Okay. So also side note, if you are wanting to increase your intuition, if you want to learn how to actually tune into that and tap into that psychic power, know in your gut what you're supposed to do at every single moment so that you have stability, security, clarity, knowing exactly what to do when you need to do it, feeling confident in moving forward, fear fearlessly in the direction of your dreams, uh, then be excited and stay tuned and drop your emails below because I have, um, I'm going to be launching a, a brand new course on how to tune into your intuition so that you can get everything that you want, uh, next year. And I'm so excited for it. Okay. The angels of intuition are stepping forward to help increase and amplify your intuition. They will be sending you messages throughout your day in the form of divine signs Numbers, colors, sweet smells, dreams, etc. In addition, they will help you interpret and understand your intuition more easily as well as interpreting each symbol with ease because who the fuck knows what every single symbol means, right? Um, and deciphering the message specifically for you or who you're working with. They help one understand their intuition, helping to make sense and interpret divine guidance. When you see signs and numbers and threes, then it's from your angels. Okay. So the angel, so it's funny because the intuition is like basically your psychic superpowers and everybody is a little bit psychic, no matter what anyone says. Um, and not just because it's like cool and it's like on trend and like hashtag a millennial thing, like everybody has a gut instinct. So if you can learn how to harness those psychic abilities, whether it's clear audience, clear sentience, clairvoyance, um, what is it? Clear cognizance. There's five. Okay. Clear sentience is feeling it when you just feel that. Clear audience is when you actually hear the people, hear the spirits and guides. Clairvoyance is seeing into the future, right? You get, that's like fortune telling and you know, all that stuff um, that goes with the stigma of psychics and fortune tellers or clear cognizance where you just know, like you just kind of like know. 
um, you can develop those skills. And it's super awesome when you do, because I will tell you, now that I have been harnessing those gifts of my own, it has been a godsend to know what to do, when to do it, if I've been sure, if I've not been sure, and like guiding me through life way motherfucking easier. So look out for these angel numbers, right? Like, for example, I was worrying the fuck about money because I was, you know, um, it random things happened um, this month that I was not expecting. And I was feeling really bummed out about it yesterday. And then I finally like dug myself out of my little depressive mood and I went out and as I was just driving and I was like trying to get my shift myself to a better energetic place, I should have probably called on the angels of good luck. There in front of me was a car. I was stopped at a stoplight and there I just drove up in front of a car that had the license plate 888. And if you know, if you go look it up, not um, in angel numbers and in numerology and in feng shui, 888 means financial abundance is falling into your lap you know, today, like you are going to get a financial windfall. So it was like, holy fuck. So it's just funny because again, like this all goes back to if you just stop worrying about the things and stop chasing the things that flee you and you stay faithful to your dreams, then you can align your energy with good luck and the universe will give you signs as to what you need to do and that it's going to be okay and that you're always protected and divinely directed and you can get everything that you want with ease. It just may not be in the way that you have wanted it to be but it can come in a different package and who the fuck cares as long as you're like not sitting in jail not getting what you want does that make sense like we create our own jails for ourselves so it's like you know if you have to have let's say for example if for example for example in an instance, like if you're looking for the love of your life, your soulmate, the man of your dreams, Prince Charming, etc., and you're like, he has to be six foot tall with blonde hair and blue eyes and a 12 pack and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he has to have this job and like whatever. You can manifest that. But if it's constantly fleeing you, right? Like you could just like, if you just stayed flexible, it's just like, just, just bring me the man that compliments me and is most aligned with my path, right? Like that makes me the most high vibe that supports me and I support him and we like amplify each other, you know, each other's true love, right? If that's it, and then the guy comes, but he's like, he like, what if he has brown hair and hazel eyes and is not six foot, but he's like 5'11". Like, would you be like, yeah, no, fuck that. You know what I mean? But you felt so good and he was like the perfect match. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes we think it has to happen a certain way or it has to look a certain way. And if you just release that and just be like, just bring it to me in the fastest, easiest way possible, then oftentimes you'll get what you want way faster and better than what you thought it was going to be. And that's the other thing too, is that like, it can actually be better you could get more money a more harmonious match like you see what I'm saying like you it could be way better than you could ever imagine all right we're on to the magical mermaids okay so the magical mermaids are saying "Ooh, I love this one morning affirmations how pretty are these cards okay so say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifesting. What the hell? Do you see how all these cards go together? Like I can't make this, I can't make this shit up if I tried. This is why I love channeling guidance. Okay, so morning affirmations. This card asks you to begin each day with positive intentions and affirmations. Before arising from your bed, spend a few moments thinking about your desires. Don't worry about how to bring them into physical form. Just allow yourself to imagine that they've already manifested. Then make one or more positive affirmations relating to your desires. When you open your eyes, write down these affirmations. It's a good idea to keep a pad or pen on your and pen on your nightstand or your journal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. During the day, look at the affirmations and say them mentally or verbally. Okay. I am so in love with this guidance from the mermaids. Thank you, mermaids. Um, this is really about once you're starting to tune into your intuition and really focusing and staying loyal to your dream, 
to envision what if you woke up and you got that hundred million dollar empire that you woke up and the love of your life was laying next to you in your bed where you got to wake up and go to your dream job making a fuckload of money doing something that you love what would that feel like what if you got to wake up and you're like oh my god today I get to do what I really really love to do holy crap this is so amazing or oh my god like I woke up this morning and I had $10,000 drop into my PayPal account. Like you just see your phone scrolling with notifications of things that you've sold. Oh my God, that feels so good. Thank you so much. And you just start, and then saying a positive affirmation about it, being like, I'm always protected and divinely directed. You know, like money always comes really easily to me. I always have more than what I need. Like I am living a life of abundance. Like whatever it is that feels good and real that matches with, your dream. And then you say that through to yourself throughout the day. Um, you can also, uh, program your phone to, uh, with those affirmations as well. Um, so that you don't even have to think or, you know, bring your journal and you can just have it go off at certain times during the day. That's also very helpful, but that's going to integrate into you, your new story, your new beliefs to continue to have your energy align with your joy so that you can get what you want. This is so deep but yet so simple at the same time. Okay, last card is you're going to die. You're going to die. Ah, soulmate relationships. This is my favorite card of all time. Do you understand dolphins are my spirit animal? Okay. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. Okay, so... I just want you to know if you are already, if you have already found your soulmate, this card just signifies that you're going to deepen your connection and your relationship uh, with the person that you're already with. If they are in fact your soulmate. And then if you're single, well, let uh, um, get ready for meeting the one. That's also another course I wanted to do for next year, but that's a whole other thing. Okay. Your desire to be in a great love relationship has manifested and you've been guided to create or maintain that situation right now. This relationship has a deep spiritual basis with both partners having true faith and profound beliefs. You and your partner share similar spiritual concepts and are open-minded when it comes to learning about implementing new practices. This partnership flows to you naturally right now. However, if you worry about or try to force the situation to happen, you could slow the results. It's important for you to enjoy the process leading up to your desired outcome. Dance with the movement that your manifestation has created for you. Attract your partner through your warm and relaxed demeanor and know that heaven is taking care of all the details for both of you. So what I love about this card is that like, if again, if you are with someone, this signifies that you are in a soulmate relationship, right? And it's going to blossom and develop the way it needs to. But again, don't try to force shit. Don't try to make shit happen. Just allow shit to blossom and come from a place of love, which is one of the big things that I'm going to be implementing into my business is infusing love into everything that I do and infusing love into all of my relationships because I have been obsessed with love for my entire life. Um, chalk it up to watching too many Disney movies. Doesn't matter. That is just one of my big purposes as well is to help people find that those soulmate relationships and connections and just being in love with every area of your life. That's what happily ever after means to me. So there's a new romance. There's something budding. If you were single and you were looking for someone, this is a chance to Stop chasing after guys who are not right for you. Stay true to your dream of finding your happily ever after Prince Charming. Call on your angels of good luck to help you align with that energy of joy and ease and love. Start tuning into your intuition and looking at the signs in order to call in your soulmate. And then use morning affirmations, sit in bed, dream about waking up next to your loved one, like the love of your life. And one, one affirmation that I really like is being like, oh my God, I manifested real love. 
holy crap, I just manifested real, true love. I am so happy. It makes me, that's what had helped me a lot was just knowing like, yes, of course, I just have decided I'm manifesting the love of my life. I'm manifesting the man that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And then it just comes so easily, right? When you just decide and you just affirm it, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It does not matter what anybody else thinks. It matters what you think. And you are going to meet your soulmate. Look at this. So that is what the spiritual channeled guidance is for this last week of December of 2019. And that is what the angels and the universe has to say to you. Um, 2020 is going to be a really great year if you choose it to be so. If you want to reclaim your power, if you are ready to stay loyal to your dreams, if you are ready to receive it. A lot of it is about having issues with receiving, but if you are ready, then the universe is ready to shower you with the luck, with your soulmate, with the money and the abundance and everything that you desire. You get to have it all. You get to have it all. And the very, very, very first step of that is deciding what is good for you and what is not good for you, and then staying loyal to your dreams. So... Let me know in the comments below if that is, if this this channeled guidance uh, helped you, if it made sense, if it was if it gave you some good tips on moving you forward on your dreams and goals, and if you are really really wanting to ramp it up and take a step forward and really make the most out of this brand new decade and really start slaying your way through the next decade of your life, right? I am offering a slay your way through the next decade workshop and course that is coming out um, next week. So if you want to get in on it, let me know. Drop a comment below. I am going to help you walk through step by step on what you need to do in order to apply all of the guidance that we talked about today. So that is about clearing out what no longer serves you, getting really clear and super loyal to your dreams while being really flexible about your plans, about calling in your angels of luck because everybody has their own specific uh, spirit guides and guardian angels. So you can tune in and channel and channel in that good luck so that you can be liquid luck. And then that way you can also tune into your intuition, starting to learn how to do it so you can trust yourself and knowing what you need to do at whatever time of day so that you have that stability and that you are always protected and divinely directed, right? And then being able to solidify all of that with your game plan of your morning affirmations, retelling your story, being able to align with your spirit of joy, align with the energy of joy and of good luck so that you can have the love of your life and be in love with every area of your life. So having the man and the money and the million dollar empire, having it all, whatever that looks like for you. Again, this isn't about what, it isn't about the, the words that I'm saying, but it's that idea of being able to have everything that you want and you can get it with ease and joy and fun. You do not have to struggle anymore. I repeat, you do not have to struggle in order to get what you want. You can just ask for it and you can just open your arms to receive it. It can be that simple, but you have to decide. You have to let go of these old limiting beliefs. You have to stay loyal to that dream and decide that that is in fact the life that you want to live. And then you can call in your guides, tune in to your intuition, be able to fortify that with your affirmations and get everything that you want with ease. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being part of my family. Always remember that you are beautiful. You are glorious. You are a God slash goddess. You are so ready to step into your best life to be able to receive all of the things because always remember that success starts by saying yes to you and you are worthy of it all. It's time to claim it drop a click the like click the subscribe uh, drop a comment below if you're interested in attending my slay your way through the next decade workshop 
and all of the things. I love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful new year. Mwah.